What's going on guys? It's your boy Hammer here and today I have a special video for you. On my last video um, talking about the best settings for streaming with OBS, you guys have commented a lot requesting that I do a video talking about the best settings in OBS for recording. So here it is. I'm going to do this video for you guys. Uh, you're going to learn how to record for YouTube, Twitter, whatever you want to use it for. These are going to be the best settings that you can use in OBS for recording. All right, guys, so here we go. We have OBS open. This is obviously my OBS, as you see my Twitch activity feed and my chat and all my sources and everything are set up here. We are going to go to settings. All right, in the general tab, not much you're going to do here at all. Honestly, you're going to just use the general tab to put it on dark mode, because if you don't use dark mode, I don't want to talk to you ever again. So put it on dark mode. Thank you. Uh, stream, not going to do anything in here. This has absolutely nothing to do with recording. You could leave this completely blank and disconnect your account and you could still record with OBS. All right, so heading down to the output tab, this is basically where we are going to change some settings um, to make you have some pretty nice recording. All right, so we're gonna come over here, ignore the streaming tab, we're going to click on recording. All right, obviously, some of this stuff is grayed out for me right now because I am actually recording as you know, I'm looking at this, so if I wasn't recording, this stuff would not be grayed out. But uh, I'm recording, so it is. So here in the recording, you're going to change your recording format to MP4 if it is not um, on MP4. Leave all this other stuff normal until you get down to the encoder. Once you get down to the encoder, you are going to want to make sure you have it on NVIDIA, NVENC, H.264, new. Um, that encoder is going to use, if you have a 10 series or a 20 series, uh, graphics card it is going to use the Turing architecture that they put in those cards um, to encode video. So when you're recording, whether you're recording gameplay or camera footage or whatever it is through OBS, it's going to be a lot less resource intensive on your machine. Um, so your recordings will come out nicer, smoother, all that jazz. So definitely use the NVIDIA encoder. Make sure it's NVENC H.264 new because there is another one there. Make sure it's the new one. Okay, rescale output, do not check that box. That's not where we will rescale our output. We will do that in a different tab if you do want to scale it down. Okay, coming down here, your rate control, you want to put it on CBR. That gives us a custom bit rate. All right, so for the custom bit rate, we are going to put in 16,000 if you are doing 1080p at 60 FPS recordings. Okay, if you're doing 1080 at 30 FPS, you can do 12,000 bit rate. Um, if you're doing, let's say 720 at 60, you can do 7K to 8K bitrate. Um, but for 1080p at 60 frames, general rule of thumb for recording 16K bitrate. Um, keyframe interval, make sure you put that on two. Do not leave it on zero. Uh, preset max quality should be no problem there as long as you have a 20 series card or higher. If you have a 10 series card, such as a 1060 or a 1070, 1080, maybe you might have to drop it down to quality. Um, but you know, you shouldn't have to max quality should be fine profile. You want to put it on high. You definitely want to check look ahead and psycho visual tuning GPU zero max B frames. Keep that on too. All right. So in that tab, that's really all we're doing. We're going to head over to the audio tab. Nothing we're doing in here at all. Um, this would be where you set up your audio devices, but if you're just recording, I'm assuming you have all your audio set up. Um, but if you need help with that, I can do a separate video on setting up a ton of audio. Let me know guys down in the comments below. Video tab. So here, these are not normally grayed out. Like I said, I'm recording, so they are. Um, but for you, they won't be. If you do want to scale it down to, let's say, 720 or maybe 900p, this is where you would do it right here under the output scaled resolution. You would scale it down to 720p there or 900p. Downscale filter, you want to keep it on Lanxos um, so that it stays nice and crisp. Common FPS values, 60 if you're doing it at 60 FPS. Hotkeys. This section, uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want here. You can, these are basically everything you have in OBS as a function. You can bind to a specific key or if you have like a board switcher. I use a, a Elgato Stream Deck, uh, but if you don't have that, you can map keys on your keyboard to do, you know, things in OBS so that you don't have to click everything. Pretty nice. And in advanced, nothing really you're going to do here, except I will point out one thing. Under the general tab here, process priority. So. A lot of people have an issue with OBS where it says encoding overload, you know, consider turning down, blah, 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 blah. It means OBS is struggling um, to keep up with whatever you're trying to do. You can come into here and try changing this to maybe above normal or high. Um, and what that will do is it takes your CPU's resources 
and uh, delegates them more towards OBS than everything else. So if you put it above normal, right, and you have OBS running and a game, okay? Um, if you put it above normal, so your PC is gonna focus more on running OBS than running that game. So it will take a few frames, not many, but a few frames away from that game, like uh, you know, a few away from your FPS, and put that energy towards um, OBS. It might help you, might not, but it's something you can try if you're getting encoding problems. One more thing here in the advanced tab that I would suggest you guys do is make sure your uh, renderer is on uh, DirectX 3D 11, um, color format NV12, color space 709 and color range. Change that from partial to full. It's probably on partial. Make sure you put it on full so you get a nice full range of colors. And that's it. All right, guys. So that's really all I've got here for you. It's a pretty simple video here for you, but you guys asked for it. So I wanted to deliver it for you. So if you enjoy these videos, guys, please be sure to hit that like button. That lets me know that you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on those post notifications so you don't miss when I post the next video. And if you guys want to hang out with me live on my stream, I stream usually Mondays, Wednesdays, Friday nights around 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, Saturday and Sunday mornings randomly, but I do stream Saturday and Sunday mornings sometimes. So if you guys want to hang out, I will drop a link to my Twitch down in the description below this video. All right, guys, so that's all from me. I want you to keep those hammers up in the air, and I'll see you in the next one.